What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the series where I attempt to fill as many collection log spots as possible on my maxed Ultimate Iron Man. Starting this one off on 795, getting really close to the 800 milestone. In the last video, I did a ton of DKs. I did a total of like 650 kills. Uh, I already had some wrecks done from before. And uh, all of these drops are new on the log, so six more slots from that. And I also did some Kraken tasks and got two more slots from that as well. And then I finished it up by completing the Wall Guthic Sleeps quest. My initial goal right now is going to be to get the Ember Light, which is the new upgrade for the Arc Light that came out. It's really good on Ultimate Iron Man. Uh, the Ember Light gives unlimited charges, so of course not having to worry about shards is going to be huge. Now the dilemma that I have here is you need the Arc Light to be fully charged in order to turn it into the Ember Light. And uh, as you see, I only have 998 charges right now. I want to get this to probably around 5,000. I'm hoping that'll be enough charges for me to get the drop from Tormented Demons. Uh, there's also this infused thing here. I think it's every 10 Tormented Demons you killed, you get 1% infused. And you can also mix and match them. So say I have 50% infused, 5,000 Arclight charges. Um, it'll count as having 10,000, so that's nice. But yeah, in order to get the other 4,000 charges that I need here, I'm going to be killing Warp Jellies for the Ancient Charge. They drop at a rate of 1 in 240. Another detour to take before I do that though, uh, since I'm going to be barraging them, I want to go and unlock the um, Mage Arena 2 cape. I still haven't done that yet. Uh, of course I did Mage Arena 1, but I've been putting Mage Arena 2 off for a very long time because it's really annoying. The first step in Mage Arena 2 is to unlock the Claws of Guthic spell, the Saradaman Strike spell, and the Flames of Zamorak spell. I already unlocked Flames of Zami, so I only have to unlock the other two. And the way you do this is by casting each spell 100 times in the arena up here in the wilderness. So hopefully I'm able to get through this without any PKers showing up. All right, there's a second one done, as you see in the chat there, Sarah Dom and Strike. Uh, the final one is going to be Claws of Guthix. Pretty perfect timing here unlocking this. My prayer just ran out, and I should unlock it this next cast. <laughs> Literally perfect timing. Uh, so that's all three spells unlocked. and go into the Majorina 2 quest thing here. And now I have everything I need to start this. I've never done this before, but from what I understand, you kind of have to run around with this enchanted symbol to locate all three of the bosses. You have to kill um, one boss with each staff. And they're all like level 200, 300, something like that. Also, each time I kill one of the bosses, I need to go and give the symbol to the guy that you start the quest with. So I have to re-gear between every kill and go back up here. Uh, that is the first boss done though, and there is a boss number two. And finally, the third one. Thankfully, none of these really gave me too much trouble with the amount of food I had, so potatoes worked pretty well. This should complete the quest here. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I guess I just use the cape on him now. Oh yeah, there it is, imbued. For those of you guys that don't know as well, this cape is insanely OP. I'll equip so you can see the stats on it. Plus 15 uh, defense bonus to mage, plus 15 attack bonus to mage, and plus 2% magic damage, so... Uh, yeah, it's it's a really good cape. One uh, final thing that I have to do before I can head over to Warp Jellies is uh, I need a way to lure them all so I can barrage them. I'm just going to be making iron darts. I know you can like hop to buy knives, but it's really annoying. It's tedious. It's I think it's slower. This is way more chill since I could just make the bars right here and then go to the anvil right next to it and basically just AFK making all of the darts. I really have no idea how many I'm going to need, I'm not going to lie, I don't know how many kills I'm going to need or anything. I'm just going to start off by making maybe like 3,000. End up making only about 1,000 iron darts since I'm going to be using my max cape to save a lot of them. This is the setup I'm going to be going with. Uh, I was thinking about doing prayer armor, but I ended up going with blood bark because of the recent change uh, to the magic damage percentage. Uh, you'll see I can take these two pieces off here. Three of these pieces, the helm, the body, and the legs, they all have plus one uh, magic damage. Sadly, I don't have the Occult, which would be another plus 5%. That's another thing I wiped, sadly, when I wiped my Berserker Ring. A bunch of Prey Pots and some Staminas. I have a lot of Death and Blood Runes for this, thankfully, so I'm not too worried about running out of runes. But yeah, when it comes to this, it's pretty straightforward, and I believe there's like 9 jellies here, and I just hit all of them with the dart. Go to the corner over here, and I can stack them, and then just barrage them. So I'm going to need a total of 12 Ancient Shards, since I'm going for 5k charges, and every 1,000 charges is 3 shards. Also, a chance of getting a Dark Totem from this. I'll show the rates to you guys on the screen. Ancient Shard 1 in 240, and the base, middle, and top are all 1 in 360, which I can use to go kill Skatizo. I still need that pet as well, so um, that works pretty well for this grind on top of that. And also, another big thing from this is I will be getting hard clues at a rate of 1 in 60. 
60. So I think if I'm on rate here for the amount of shards I need, I'll get 48 total heart clues. Pretty much, um, I'll show you guys on screen when I get one, but what I'll be doing is just picking it up, teleporting back to my house, dropping it outside, and then heading back over here. Yeah, I don't know how many of these I'll be able to kill per hour. It's something I've been curious on for a really long time since I do plan to eventually camp these for hard clues, so I will be keeping track of that. There is an hour completed. I have a lot of information to share with you guys now. Uh, I kept track of a lot of stuff. First off, 151,000 magic XP gained. It's a pretty large amount for not being on a Slayer task. Number two here, the second most important thing, I got a total of seven hard clues that hour and a total of 560 kills, which means um, if this hour that I just did is consistent, I should be getting about 9.3 hards per hour. A little bit under the rate here, but yeah, 9.3 hards per hour is kind of crazy. Also, I noticed from doing this that I don't use any stamina, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those. Only three prayer pots used as well, so even with this gear and not having much prey bonus, uh, that's really not that much. And I used 2.6k death runes, 1.4k blood runes, and I made 530k GP from all the rune kite shield and rune full helm alks. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these staminas and then get back to doing this. Um, also, I made up my mind once I hit, I think between 25 and 30 hards on the floor is when I'll take a break to do them. Hey, I finally got the first dark totem piece. There's a dark totem base. Still looking for an ancient shard. Uh, also, I really quickly did want to tell you guys as well, the numbers I just told you were completely wrong. Um, the loot tracker for these is kind of bugged for some reason. So I tried to track it by the amount of hit points XP I did, and I did it wrong. It's actually 420, surprisingly, kills per hour. So uh, I was right on rate. It's seven hearts per hour, not the 9.3 that I said. You probably get what I said before with like max gear here though. There it is, the first ancient shard. Second piece of the Dark Totem. Only one more to go until I have a full one. There it is, the Dark Totem top. I can combine these all and make my first Dark Totem, which is going to be one attempt at Skatizo. I also got a second Ancient Shard. I'm getting uh, incredibly lucky on these pieces for the, um, the Dark Totem. That is already two full Dark Totems in the time I got two Ancient Shards somehow. I think these are guaranteed one shard and there's like a chance of getting up to five as well. Well, I pushed the hard clothes a little bit further than I was originally going to. Um, I think I mentioned doing 30. I wasn't actually going to do that. I was going to do 20 or 25, but, uh, yeah, here's 30 hard clues just sitting on the floor right here that I need to take a break to do now. Um, also currently at three ancient shards and of course the two dark totems. I'm going to do the same thing as last time. I'm going to start with the non wildy steps and every time I get a wildy step, I'm going to put them on the tile over here and then do all those steps later. I was able to complete 16 of the 30 hard clues and now on to the wilderness steps. I kind of made a little bit of a mistake here. I wanted to go and use the dark totems up. Uh, to clear myself some inventory space after I finished all the hard clues, but I went and geared myself up and completely forgot about it. And I can't be asked deathballing and re-gearing again, so I'm just going to be saving these until the next time, which I'll probably have three or four to do. But yeah, I was able to do all 30 of the uh, hard clues. It took me, I think, like nine hours total between getting them and doing them, so like... 3.3 per hour uh, is the amount of hard clues I'm able to do. I was expecting four, which um, hopefully I'll get when I get better magic gear. Yeah, let me get back to it this time. Um, 30 wasn't too bad stacked. I might try to do 40 this time if I don't have the amount of shards I need yet. Another shard and totem update. I just finished yet another one. So that is going to be three total dark totems. And I've also gotten two more ancient shards on top of that, so up to five. Okay, this is kind of crazy. Um, I'm up to nine total shards now. If you guys look in my chat box, you can see three ancient shards just in that chat box alone. And scrolling up, there's another one. I've gotten four shards, probably like 20 minutes. So I'm definitely like moving back towards being on the rate since I was so dry on these compared to where I should be at. Also, I'm going to be going for more charges here. 5k was originally the goal, but I am going to be going for more. I might even try to just push towards having it fully charged. Oh my gosh, no way I actually got it. I actually managed to get the Celestra seed that I needed to uh, complete the achievement diary from Hespori. I honestly didn't think it was gonna happen. That is crazy. Now I can go and plant this. I still have to wait for it to grow though. All right, it takes a total of 13 hours to grow. I'll actually be able to finish it tomorrow. That's <laughs> that's insane, man. So I also went and got myself the eight potato cactus. I'm not taking any chances with this. I'm 100% making sure that it does not die. There is the payment for it. And now I wait 13 hours and I'll be able to complete the entire diary finally. Well, I just got a dark totem middle and a dark totem top in the same chat box here. You can see the top and the bottom. 
Um, so combining that, I now have a total of four Dark Totems, which means I'm going to go take a break and get these out of the way since it's taking up like my whole inventory. Also up to 17 total Ancient Shards, and I have, let me see here, I have 40 total hard clues on the ground right now. Uh, I'm going to try to do something crazy. I'm just going to leave all the hards on the floor until I'm done getting the shards I need. Um, so I could end up getting like 70 to 100 hards. Uh, and then I was going to try to do them all at the same time. I think it'll be pretty cool if I manage to have 100 hard clues on the floor at the same time. So uh, we'll see those adding up. But I'm going to go death pile up because I want to um, give myself inventory space for food and stuff uh, to do these four totems. All right, here's the setup I'm going with. I'm going to be using Void. Uh, I accidentally picked up my B gloves, so that's taking up a spot in my inventory because I forgot I was going to be using Void. Uh, this should be good enough to get this done with, though. Um, so let's go ahead and go for it. There's also a few combat tasks I'm going to be getting here. I got two of them from the one kill I did a long time ago, but I should be able to easily get three more here. I'm not going to be going for all of them since I need to go for the pet eventually anyway, which is a 1 in 65 drop right here. But I will be getting kill it five times and also kill it with a Demon Bane weapon since I'm using my Arclight. And I'm also going to try to go for the um, one to get a kill with no altars active. All right, there's three achievements there in the chat. Uh, this kill took like four minutes or something because I had to wait uh, the three minutes for the altars to stop respawning. Um, and that is for, oh yeah, I forgot you get hard clues from doing this too. Uh, one ancient shard, sadly, didn't get lucky on those. Uh, but yeah, that is the three combat achievements, so I have five here completed now. Tiza KC number two, please game, give me unique. What do we get here? And I get a bunch of stuff here. Once again, sadly, only one ancient shard. And other than that, nothing really. Okay, KC number four. Two ancient shards this time, nice. Uh, only one left to go now, and there's a challenge on here that I'm going to try to do. It's to get... Um, it's Katizo kill with the final source of damage being ancient Champa explosion. So I'm gonna head over to Moons, take out my chins, and try to get that one done. So the only way to do this is to line up one of the minions on the southwest tile uh, so it hits him. Uh, if it's on any other tile, you can actually do damage. Hopefully it dies here. Yep, there it is. All right, both of them done. There's the five kill achievement and also the one for the chins. One ancient shard, sadly, as well. So that's all of those done, but few more combat achievements out of the way, which is nice, and five more Ancient Shards added to the stack. I got myself set up again to go back to Jellies. As you guys see from the inventory, I have 22 Ancient Shards here. I need a total of 27, so only five more to go. And there it is, the final Ancient Shard that I need. 27 at total now, and then teleport out of here. Okay, you can head over to the Arclight stash here, and now I can use all the Shards on it. Uh, you should have to spam them, you can't do it all at once, but you see in the chat there it going up, and it will hit 9,886. I might end up still having to go for um, three more shards in the future, depending on how the infusion goes while going for the synapse to make the ember light. But yeah, for now I'm going to store that back here again, and I'll show you guys how many hard clues I have. Okay, here's the crazy stack. I end up having to make three of them for duplicate clues, and I don't want the plugin to accidentally screw up and have one of these disappear. Uh, you'll see on this one here, I can literally scroll through it. It's so long. Uh, there's a total of 59 hard clues here. I kind of wish I didn't do these 30 and I just stacked them all up because I'd be able to do almost 90 at once. But um, yeah, at this point, I'm going to start doing all 59 of these. I think it'll probably end up taking like 10 hours to get through all of them. Also made 4.5 million GP in all of the Alks from the Rune Kite Shields and Rune Full Helms. And got a total of 2.1 million magic XP. Uh, also still have a ton of runes left. I really didn't go through too many. I went through like 30... 38k death runes or something. But yeah, I'm gonna get on to doing these hards. I completely forgot to update you guys when I finished all of the non-wildy steps. You can see in the stack here that I have a total of 62 reward caskets now, and I have 27 more to do that are all wildy steps, so I'm gonna get on to those. Managed to get through all of my wilderness hards, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick those up there, 27, and then head over to my stack and combine them with the ones I have already. 89 total hard caskets to open uh, before I do this of course I need to go and pick up everything I have like uh, five minutes on my timer so I have to do this pretty quick I was actually doing a lot more hards um, than I did last time probably because I'm more familiar with the steps and I have more notes on them I was doing between like 10 and 12 hards per hour and uh, of course not counting the time it takes to get them but just to do them I was doing like 10 to 12 which is kind of um, kind of crazy before I go and open these hards if you guys remember I did plant my Celastis tree as you see here it is fully grown so I can go ahead and check health on it and then I need to chop a piece of bark from it and uh, This is it all I need to do is use a knife on it and I'm completely done with the diaries 
finally. So there it is, the Elite Karend Diary done and every single task done in the Achievement Diary. So I'm going to go collect that lamp and then go and get the cape. Massive, massive thing to get done, though. The teleports from that are going to be really helpful. So the Achievement Diary cape looks like it costs 99k, just like the normal skill capes. Uh, there it is. I didn't honestly never thought I'd get this cape on uh, any account. Also, the emote's really cool. If you guys have never seen it before, I'll show it to you on screen really quick. So with this done, I'm going to go put the cape in my house and get ready to open all 89 of these hard clues. It's 1 in 15 to get a master casket as well, so I should get a uh, decent amount more of those on top of it. Made myself back over to Martin, of course, so I can sell everything I get from these clues. Really quickly show you guys what the hard clue log looks like again. 33 items, 89 total opened. It's actually going to double my um my hard clues. Also, it's 795 total log slots, so I'll definitely hit 800 from this. Oh, there's already a unique on the second one, an ancient coif, which is going to be nice to add to the set in my house. And some ancient chaps as well on top of that. It's two items um, for both of those. And also my first master clue. Amulet of Glory T4. Interesting one. A master clue at number two already with 76 left to open. Another unique, a rune cane. And as you see in the chat, that is 799 logs. The next one is going to be the 800 milestone. And there it is. Collection log slot number 800. And also another master already. Uh, with the blue dehyde body, gonna go ahead and show that through the clan chat there. 800 total slots logged on the account now. Pretty huge. Um, I still have a lot of slots I could get for free too. I have the whole Castle Wars log, um, the, the notes log, which is like 20 or something, and the whole Trouble Brewing log. So I could get probably like 100 just from those, which is nice. Yeah, shout out to everybody in the clan chat, and uh, I'm gonna continue opening these. Ooh, Zami dehyde boots. That, that is massive. <laughs> These are the single store as well. That's like my fourth different pair of uh, boots. Berserker necklace ornament kit. Uh, thing is only worth 17k though. I was honestly, when I saw it pop up, I thought it was going to be more. Ancient dehyde boots. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just getting all the dehyde boots, dude. <laughs> I think that might be all of them. Uh, I actually want to check my hard log really quick for this. Uh, where are the boots in here? Uh, so I only need the Armadil Dehyde boots, and I have all the Dehyde boots. Another unique, a Bando's Kite Shield. I actually don't... I know there's Bando's items I need. I think it's the cloak and the plate body, though. I guess it's good to get if I end up getting the full Bando set, though, because then I can just keep it in my uh, house until I get the BGS, I think, I need for the, uh, the Master Sash. Oh, wow. That is a huge casket. Uh, Guthix Kite Shield and Arun Kite Shield T. It looks like I already have the Guthix Kite Shield. Uh, there is another unique with that one, though. Hey, another master with uh, another blue dehyde body that I got earlier as well. That is already four. Double unique. Rune Full Helm G and a red dehyde body G. Rune Plate Legs T. Nice. Shout out to uh, some people from the clan chat here coming to watch the uh, the opening. Master clue number five. Rune Helm H1. Don't need any more of these, but it's another added to the log. Guthix Dehyde Body. Nice. It's a good one. Next casket, blue Dehyde Chaps trimmed with a duplicate Ancient Plate Body. Guthix Crozier, nice. Oh, I got a Black Dragon Mask, no way. I needed this for a stash. And Zami Dehyde Boots in the same one. This is a crazy clue, what the heck. So you need a Black Dragon Mask, uh, Black Dehyde Body, and Black Dragon Van Braces to fill a Master Stash. Um, so that is another Master Stash gonna be filled when I'm done with this. And a Rune Plate Skirt G. What is going on with these guys, dude? <laughs> I love this clan shot. Rune plate body trimmed. Oh, a double there too. Armadil chaps and a, a zombie head. <laughs> I don't even know this was an item in the game. That's so random. Armadil plate body. Nice. Also a uh, duplicate ancient coif in that one as well. 
and an ancient plate legs what the heck is that clue that's actually crazy and an enchanted top okay we're down to the final three hard caskets here to open so let's go for it nothing from that one nothing for that one and the final hard casket nothing as well so let me go ahead and sell these and i'll let you guys know everything i got total from that i think i started at what 795 i got 24 new collection logs from that which is kind of ridiculous 24 from like 89 clues uh, i didn't get any of the like super rare hard ones which are would be all the shields here and all of these rune plate bodies be up to 57 total now and I got a total of 10 masters from that on rate should have been I think six uh, this is <laughs> this is literally gonna take up my entire day trying to do all of these uh, so yeah I guess on to doing all of these masters I'll see you guys back when hopefully I'm able to complete all 10 of them uh, already starting off with the most annoying Sherlock step to get any gold or silver shade key to kill a fire shade uh, my favorite step on an ultimate Iron Man it only takes like 20 minutes to do <laughs> no way I actually just got the step back to back as well uh, that is why I'm going to be holding onto the key the entire time. Well, this is awkward. Um, I have to mine a piece of rune with a prospector kit. And for some reason, I sold back these two pieces a long time ago. I, I guess I didn't realize this was a master step. So I have to go back and get the helmet and the top. Um, I'm just going to save that until the end. I can't be asked doing that right now. Uh, so I guess I'll just keep this on the floor. Oh my gosh. What? I just got a random hard clue when I was going for the uh, dragon stones from the rogue chest. It's like a 1 in 100 chance or something. I opened it fully expecting to not get anything. And I ended up getting one of the rare items from hard clues that I was talking about earlier. A uh, Ceridom and Dehyde shield. I'll show you guys on the screen here. Um, everything from hard clues is a 1 in 1625. But the shields and the... Uh, rune plate bodies are a 1 in 8,100, but the shields are a 1 in 9,750, so any of these shields are like the hardest items to get from hard clues, and I just got my first one on 179. Talk about a, a crazy clue. So I was able to get 8 out of 10 of the masters done. The other one over here, as you guys saw, I need to go get the prospector, and this one, on the very last step, I got hit with the Zami full helm. Um, that I still haven't gotten from hard yet, so sadly, um, I do have to get rid of this one. But since I am on step 7, it'll carry over to the other master, so once I finish getting the prospector, I will be able to finish that um, clue. So, uh, 9 out of 10 masters isn't too bad. I'll definitely take that. Uh, but I am going to go pick up all my stuff and then head over to MLM. So what I think I did is I sold the um, the hat and the top to buy the coal bag and the gem bag for the log a long time ago. I need to get 100 nuggets total, as you see in the chat there, for the helm and the jacket. I already have pretty much everything unlocked here. Um, 100 won't take a long time. So as you guys see on the screen over here, 280,000 mining XP. It took a little bit over five hours to get all 100, so it really wasn't too bad. Uh, but now I can get and buy the helmet and the jackets. Uh, now I'm going to go and get this clue done. I did also want to mention, because I know there's probably going to be uh, people in the comments saying that you can use the Varrock armor um, in place of the plate body. Uh, I know that the only problem is uh, with Ultimate Iron Man and the... Um, the storage here i can't actually take anything out unless i have the full set so i had to go and get the plate body anyway or wouldn't actually have been able to take this out of my house and even for the future if i got this step i'd still need the full set since i wouldn't be able to take the three pieces out of my house again and with this challenge done there is nine master caskets ready to open um, one in 15 chance, I believe, of one of these being a mimic. Okay, now let's get to opening these. Uh, it's always, honestly, my favorite part of the account is opening these, uh, just for chances at the Bloodhound. The last few masters I opened weren't too good, so hopefully this time they're a little bit better. I guess one thing that is nice about these, though, is, um, there's always a decent amount of alkables from these. Uh, like, I could go process both of these and get a decent amount of GP from them. Aw, oh, man. Sixth Master, there's the Hood of Darkness, uh, which I already have, sadly. Uh, only three more left to go, but yeah, you can see my inventory here is just a bunch of Alkables. Three more left to go, though. Hopefully, I can at least get one unique from these, man. Two more. Oh, dude, this is so bad. Oh, man, I didn't get anything from them. That is awful. I'm up to 47 total Masters now, though, but... Oh, uh, that is so disappointing. Even though I didn't manage any uniques from the Masters, I did still get 125 Toad Flex, so uh, at least I can make a few more Cerebrews from these. Alright guys, it is that time once again. I am going to be ending the video here. 820 Collections Log. I got a lot from the Hard Clues in this video. 
Um, so now that I have my fully charged arc light, I can start working towards getting the drop from Tormented Demons. There is one more thing I want to do before that, and it's something I have been putting off for a while. So to start next video, the first thing I'm going to be doing is going for the Vorkath's head so I can make the Ava's Assembler attach it to my max cape and uh, basically have it storable in my house. I believe it's guaranteed by 50 kills. I'm just going to be using uh, ruby bolts and diamond bolts. Per usual, thank you guys so much for watching. Pretty likely there'll be another video next Sunday as well, a week from now, so look forward to that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Thanks again.